seen those salt guns that you pump and shoot? Got one. I, threw I it have away. one in the other room that my brother bought me. It's like a joke birthday gift earlier this year. And what it is, it's a, it's a, you put table salt in the top and then you pump it and it loads like a shot of a little shot of table salt. And then you shoot it and it's very short range, but it shoots salt and that's supposed to kill bugs. Mm -hmm. And if, first of all, Wasp. No, no use on wasp. it does not at all kill bugs. <laughs> I, for, you tr if you tried it on a wasp, you're fucking ridiculous because there's zero chance this shit is doing anything but upsetting a wasp. We got it, the 2.0. Like, I've, I've gotten like, there's like, I, the I've, 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 I've abandoned the, the salt shotgun in favor of my old dish towel with flies because I'm better at whipping them with the dish towel. Like yeah. I was, I was doing range practice for the past couple weeks where I'd be like, oh, <laughs> a fly in my kitchen. And I'd like go grab it and cock it. And I'd be like, okay, I'm five feet away. Okay, that just moved him a slight bit. All right, <laughs> let's wait twenty minutes to see him again. I there was we got the two point and it kills flies. There was, but there was a, a beetle, like a little. It, it looked it was the same shape as like a, a tiny little silverfish, but I got close enough to see that it wasn't a silverfish. It was a, a oh, beetle. Yeah. Those and, long skinny bitches. Yeah, it was a long skinny thing, and I thought it was the biggest silverfish I ever seen, but it was some weird forest bug that got in my house, and I was like, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna. And it was on the wall. And so I went, this was just last night. I got my salt shotgun and I cocked it. I went in my dining room. It was at about like nine feet tall up on the wall. And I beer, shot it. That's exactly what it is. Bug assault. I got the upgrade. And yeah. it, it yeah. hit it and not even enough to knock it off the wall. It just staggered it. And so then I cocked it again and like reached up, extended to where the <laughs> barrel was like maybe three inches from it. And I blasted it and it comes down and it's like wings are still working. Now it's on the ground and it's moving and I'm just going, oh, go, go, bang, go, go, bang, bang. <laughs> are you ready for I it used, to be over? I used an entire top container of salt and I shit you not, <laughs> It took me probably eight <laughs> minutes to kill this bug, and because I, would, I, I was trying to kill it from range, and then by the end I was just like like Can execution style putting it directly above it, and like it was still thrashing <laughs> around afterward and shit. What I realized about five minutes into this bloodbath was that the salt was only strong enough to dismember all of its little bug limbs. And so it got to the point where like, I was looking like, all right, he's not moving. He must be close to death. I got a little closer. No, it's just, it had blown all of its legs off. It looks like a roly poly. For, except for one crawler. Oh, no. and I was like, this oh. is horrific. And so I got it with one more, just right in the, right in the back. And it Took blasted it underneath my drink cart where I like keep my, my wine glasses and my, my wine and vodka and stuff. And it just, it died. Uh, a painful death under there, I think. I found it what the next wrote. morning. Oh, you found yeah. it this morning, dead. I found it this morning. I went <laughs> under there. Yeah, had and it, it was crawled dead. all the way to your living room with one leg. <laughs> no. Yeah, I was about to say, you found <laughs> it in another room. Like little Dude, soldier. I, they, there's so many bugs around here because I live so close to the woods. Like I, I found a, a brown recluse the size of this fucking, you know, sponsor weed container. Ones the other day and like it was so foolish that it thought i wasn't awake at 1 a.m and that it could just walk across the kitchen floor <laughs> no no i pinned it crushed it enough for it to feel it but not to kill it, it want, i want it to know Wait. i want it to know. i'm kidding i kill it right away <laughs> i just i'm not gonna slowly crush a bug but yeah brown recluse are the worst bugs out there the the the, the what about the murder hornet Okay, not as bad. The brown recluse is the worst thing we have around here. No, I think because the there's a million good. billion of them in in all of our walls in Missouri. Apparently, like oh, Missouri God. is the brown recluse, like like home like home see. turf. What the fuck? Oh, I, I've been bit by a brown recluse too. Like usually, yeah. it just uh, I got bit on my arm and it just kind of formed a little because they tell you it's going to bore out a hole in your arm, but apparently yeah. that's only if it's like a big boy and you're already like not that healthy because right all it did for me it gives you like this scab that's like raised and it feels like you know like if you were to like put a pen tip with the point out like under a piece of cloth and you were to feel the smooth cloth and then the rub over the pen tip it's like a really right. hard feeling like right under the skin and then right. it just fades away but i also know people that have like got little green. little like holes in their skin from them you ever seen a guy who green, got back? Okay. dead you flesh guy got bit in the dick Oh no! Yeah, his dick, his dick rotted off. Yeah. Did yeah, he just not? Do anything that's about the story it? they always told us as kids. Like, like, be careful with hmm. that. that guy. That guy's dick rotted off because he was embarrassed to tell anybody. Always tell kids if something's wrong with your dick, tell. <laughs> <laughs> like, I will. I promise. I'll protect the family jewels. I mean, like for 
for a brown recluse to like rot an appendage off or like bite you in the pinky and have it rot your pinky, yeah. you would have to Very have common. full knowledge that your pinky was rotting mm -hmm. for like eight days and yeah. be like, I'll handle this tomorrow. I went to the hospital. <laughs> like, 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 like procrastinating as you're seeing well, bone you know, you exposed. Get bit on the, you get bit on the balls and like you're embarrassed. You're like, oh. It, maybe it's just an infection. Maybe it'll I like won't be. maybe you know, like like some people don't realize they have a serious medical situation going on. It mm. is, and and it's a product of our American system, right? That a mm. lot of people wait until it's too long to go. Yeah. And it's so expensive. Because we've yeah. spent our whole lives being like, would I be silly to go? I need right? to, hang on. Let, let, let me see if let me have some juice. Let, give me right, some juice. Yeah. <laughs> like, see if how it feels tomorrow. Because if juice fixes this and it saves us eight thousand dollars, then we're gonna feel real lucky tomorrow. But then let again, me try a little emergency that. powder. <laughs> yeah. That'll do the trick. A little airborne pill, like I'm going on a flight. Cuts is the it, you know. There's those borderline cuts where it's like, ah, is this stitches or not? I think it's stitches. And you're like, <laughs> you like look on the inside, and you can see deep down inside yourself. You're like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go. need a little stitchy 